But first, Senator Sherrod Brown is calling for an investigation following Discovery Tours filing for bankruptcy after accepting money from many school districts for upcoming trips. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart has new information on the action being taken. That's right. Dozens of school districts in Ohio are feeling the sting of Discovery Tours sudden bankruptcy filing and are not getting many answers from the company. One local school district lost thousands of dollars after already fully paying for their trip, and U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown is trying to begin the process of looking into the company's responsibility. Trips planned in as many as 30 Ohio school districts have abruptly been canceled, and Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown is demanding answers, officially filing requests for investigations into the company Discovery Tours' sudden shutdown. I don't know if it was fraud, I don't know if it was incompetence, but I've asked the U.S. Attorney and the Federal Trade Commission to look into this, to investigate, and if, if it's fraud, for, to prosecute. Um, if it's incompetence or fraud, I want the executives held accountable. We have been following this story since last week when Troy City Schools realized the company had not held up its end of the deal and had not booked lodging nor paid for the activities they were supposed to provide about $220,000 worth unaccounted for. I see a lot of these kids and they were, you know, they, they've known about this trip probably for the whole school year and they look forward to it and some of them count the days down or the weeks down and and then the trip doesn't happen and their parents lose the money both. Today we learned over 680 complaints from people in Troy and across the state had been called into the Attorney General's office because potentially millions had already been paid to Discovery Tour and as of now, no word on if any refund will be given. But I do intend to file a complaint with the Attorney General's office and to see if my bank can help me at all because, you know, it is a lot of money that was paid. Which Brown calls unacceptable, not only for the kids who will miss out on a long-awaited trip, but because the parents, school districts, and students deserve answers. It's a widespread problem. It's a heck of a lot of school districts around Ohio in every corner of the state. Now, Troy City Schools has fortunately teamed up with another group, World Strides, who is stepping in and providing that trip at no cost so the sixth graders can go to Washington, D.C., but Brown said many other schools were not as lucky. Deborah Bogart, 5 on 2.